Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and in this video, we're going to talk about DAX challenge. Now, I have never really created a DAX challenge before as a video in the past. This is the first time that I'm doing it. All that I've done is written blog posts about it and people sort of participate in that. But let's just see how this one goes. And if you like it, I'll do more of these. Any which ways, please take a look at the question that you actually have to solve. All right. That's the challenge. So we have a two column data here. We have the date column and the sales column. And your job or the challenge or the question is to find our growth over previous day. Now, that seems like a very simple question. You can do that using a data or a previous day function but the twist in the question is that the dates are not consecutive we have first Jan and then we have fifth Jan so the dates are not consecutive and your job is to find out growth over previous available date right so uh, you should not mind comparing 185 to 145 and uh, here uh, 200 should be compared to 200 and 12th Jan 130 should be actually compared to 200 that sort of stuff so Find out growth over previous available date is the question. Just a few things that you have to keep in mind is that you don't have to change the data structure in any way using Power Query or DAX. Create helper columns, create helper tables, none of that funny business, all right? You just have to come up with a simple DAX measure that calculates the growth over previous available date. And that's what I'm expecting as an answer. And if need be, you really want to create a date table, you can actually do that. That's allowed, right? So that's the only thing which is allowed and a DAX measure that actually calculates the growth over previous available date. All right, that was all about it. Hopefully you have understood the question. The link to download the Power BI file is there in the description of the video. You can actually do that. And if you do post your answers quickly and correct answers in the comments, I'll be very happy to give you a shout out on Friday when I come up with the answer to this particular question. All right, get going. And if you'd like to see more of these challenges, I've done them uh, quite a few of them in the past, and I'm going to leave a link to all of those challenges, interesting tax challenges in the comments. And you can actually take a look at those past challenges as well. All right, that's all about it. Thank you so much for this. And I will see you again with the answer to this particular tax challenge on Friday. Bye and take care.